Welcome back, everybody. My name is Fia Gloss. Today, we are playing a game called Between the Veil. It's another Scream City jam submission by G Corn, a game about a young girl who has just made friends with the wrong crew. It's a prototype released for the Scream City jam. Awesome. So, uh, as I recall, this game, uh, G Corn kind of just came in the Discord one day, was like, hey, I want to set a game in Rio de Janeiro. Do you think that would be cool? And I want to talk about this sort of witchcraft thing that became a craze uh, around Rio de Janeiro. And it was kind of like, uh, yeah. <laughs> it's like, yes, do that. Um, <laughs> it's kind of weird because, um, you know, as, as an American, uh, as American um, of the United States of A, um, I'd have, I just, you know, I don't encounter uh, Brazilian horror, which is unfortunate because... I think every every society has their own sort of manifestations of horror, and uh, while like Asian horror has kind of started to creep in to the American consciousness, um, that's about it. It's like Western horror, and then you have like some Asian horror kind of creeping in, and uh, you know usually it's well I don't know. It's it's usually I, I want to say it's usually not that great, um, but maybe I, I don't know. Maybe I'm just watching the wrong stuff. But you can only see somebody with like long hair and dressed in white so many times before you're just kind of like, okay, let's let's see some other stuff. <laughs> anyway, that's neither here nor there. Not enough Brazilian horror. That's what I'm saying. All right. Between the Veil is a game about a young girl who just made friends with the wrong crew. It's based on a real story about suicide here in my hometown. As a prototype released for the Scream City Jam, it's playable, but it has its own issues. A typical playthrough should last around five minutes. I'm just telling you right now, we're doing more than that. It's just a short story, but made with love. Hope you guys like it. All right, let's do it. Powered by Construct. I don't know what Construct is. Um, I mean, I know what it is, but I've never used it. So, make sure everything's going all right. Okay. Anyway, this game is set in a real life town, in a real town, Marika. Marika. I'm going to butcher some names here, so let's just be ready for that, okay? I don't speak any Portuguese in the state of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. It is also based on real events that happened around 2004 to 2008 in the city. By based, that's all that it is. We are not retelling the real story, but we are using events that happened back there to tell a good story. Real life people's names and roles are pure fiction. We're not. You know, I kind of like playing with, uh, I like the idea of sort of playing with reality, unreality when presenting a story. It's actually something I, uh, let me just uh, brag, <laughs> let me just talk about my own work here. It's, that's something I did in a game called Three Mile. Um, it's uh, a mix of real life and fake and uh, going so far as to use my actual friends' names and actual things that we did together. Anyway, I didn't I didn't I didn't harm anybody, by the way. Anyway, this is Marika. Marika. A beautiful city. I'm gonna go with Marika, because that just sounds better to me. Um, a beautiful city in the Rio de Janeiro coast. It's famous for the lagoon, mountains, and beach, all in one place. And it's famous for being a traditional Catholic city as all small towns are in Brazil. Recently though, it's changed. Neo-paganism, oh. I spent too long, sorry. Neo-paganism infected the young and witchcraft became the norm among them. 
especially among the rockers. Of course, it's always, almost always unharmful and just an expression of religiousness, almost. Among them, there were this crew, a bunch of guys who really, really touched the dark side, the arcane arts. This is a story about them and about Patricia, our little girl, who just became friends with these guys. Uh, so just a few notes. Uh, obviously, there are some spelling errors here. Um, the creator, G. Korn, is not a native English speaker, uh, being from Brazil. So, you know, I, I really... <laughs> I mean, it'd be pretty sad if I tried to make a game in Portuguese. So try not to be too much of a jerk about it. I would just say, you know, hey, just a couple spelling errors here. Probably work on that. All right, here we are in the game. A and D to move. We're home. We're listening to Green Day, Evanescence, Nirvana, and Linkin Park. Anyway, ah, another night in this fucking town. That's what Patricia sounds like. At least today, we have that little party by the lake. I promised the guys I'd meet them at the square, and we would move to... Jacaroa, Jacaroa for the luau. Anna, Carlos, Jonathan, and Roberta will all be there. The whole gang. I'm gonna adjust my mic here. Ugh. Gotta get comfy for this. Some cool music going on. It's like trap music. Oh, true. They asked me to take the cigs. I believe I hid them in my bag so my mom can't catch them. Ugh. Being a teen. Oh, wow. Got like some cool animation here. I see that you can... Oh, wait. How did I do that earlier? Well, that's awesome. Full animation going. Q. There they are. Now to move on and meet the gang. I hope I have not kept them waiting. <laughs> and we're smoking our cig. We're already like, hey, sup? Sup, just cool. Oh, I'm not smoking my cig anymore. Sup, guys. Now I'm smoking a cig. Hey, guys. How are you doing? You're late, bitch. What took you so long? Mom's home, so had to give her attention. Damn, you still have to take care of mommy? What a baby. Uh, <laughs> babies don't take care of their moms. What are you talking about, Carlos? You high? Yeah, right. Right? Come on, guys. We've all been there. Let Patty deal with her things, okay? Thanks, Anna. A 16-year-old's got to stick together. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Just hand the six, because I'm dying for one. Oh, wait, that wasn't Anna. That was somebody else. There you go. Thank you, lady. You're welcome, madame. Now tell me, what about this luau thing? Oh, we're doing this things by Nora's house, near the Chakaroa Lake. Just booze, music, and us. Yeah. It's gonna be fun. You sure you can come? Sure. It's all set. Cool. But you don't have a weak heart, do you? No. But why are you asking? You didn't know? Well then, back in the day... When this hell of a town was just farm and horse shit, there was this Indian man that lived there. People tell he was some sort of pa Paje, or shaman, if you prefer. Yeah, and well, this random guy murdered him, like cold-blooded murdered. Wow. Since then, people see a spirit haunting the area of his death. They say he's not welcoming to white people. I mean, violently not welcoming. And we're going to be staying very close to his death site during the luau. Guys, 
You're freaking me out. Come on, child. Nothing's gonna happen. It's just stories. And Nora is a powerful witch and likes us. We're good. You sure? And I'll be there too. Oh. Big bad vampire's gonna protect us from the big bad specter. Ha 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 ha. Vampire? Don't you know? Carlos here made a ritual once to become a vampire. He says he can feed on energy alone. Ha 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 ha. To be honest, I've seen him go out, go without food for days. Patty, don't listen to them. Anna and Carlos like to freak you out. And Jonathan is a convict. It's a convict liar, so. Oh, okay. So when are we going to the place? Oh, that's the that's an issue. You see, Nora is picking us up. The car is kind of full, so I'm sorry, but you'll have to walk, my dear. Really, guys? You're gonna do that to me? I'm really sorry. Whenever this would happen to me in high school, uh, <laughs> I would always ride in the trunk. True story. Um, I was always the trunk guy. Uh, because I was the only one who wasn't scared of being locked in the trunk. Um, so, it was, a, I don't know, stupid, but that's what we always did. And I, I kind of have, like, nostalgic memories about being locked in the trunk of a car. <laughs> anyway, let's get back to it. I think you should get going then, or you'll be late. And make sure to get some booze, girl. So you're going to make her walk and provide cigarettes and get the booze. You know, it's like one or the other. Yeah, now chop chop, new kid. Uh, I can't believe they just did it to me. Like, walking from here to Jakaroa? That's just insane. And worse, I couldn't find any place open to buy booze for the party. And I don't know if I'll be able to get some on the way. So this is not going to work. And they'll call me a baby again. I mean, Anna is my age, but she's so much more than I am right now. No, I have to do something and find some alcohol to take, or I'll be screwed, kicked out of the crew. And they're like the coolest among the coolest kids to walk with. Can't screw up right now. Alright, so we got to find some booze. I got to say, um... I kind of like this, um, I mean, I'm excited to see the, the horror element, but I'm kind of into this mundane teenagerly story. Oh, what do we got here? This is a sacrifice for a deity called Exu. They're said to guide people's paths. It's not wise to steal from them. Or maybe they'll lead my path to doom. But booze and cigarettes are a common offering, along with blood sacrifices and other food stuff. Sorry, whoever you are, but I'm not letting this opportunity pass. Thank you for your booze and cigs. Bless me on my path. Interesting. And I'm guessing, you know, the whole point was that this is sort of based on real stuff. Wow, that was loud. And this is how it ended for Patricia. Living in a small town like Marika was going to be easy and happy if she didn't want to hang out with the wrong crew. Friendship is complicated, they say. Teenage life is complicated, they say. A? Uh, maybe they just mean E. The media noticed, noticed this as suicide, but she wasn't... The only one. She wasn't the only teenager that dwelt in the arcane arts to kill themselves. There was quite a few of them, and we'll never know the reason. Yet, something we do know is they're watching us from the dark corners of the worlds, from the shivering down your spine, from the glimpse catched, caught by your eye. They hide among us, beneath us and above us. They eat our food, our energy, and our bodies. I just now noticed that there's like a Cthulhu. Um, 
May you be a closure with yourself when they come to get you. I certainly am. Okay. Um, I'm going to turn this a little bit down because it's kind of loud. Uh, so yeah. So, obviously, short. Short and sweet. Um, music by Salem. Character and scenario art by Witch. Game design, screenplay, programming, scenario art by G Corn. Okay. So, let's go back. And uh, let's mute it. Okay, so very short. Uh, obviously, it's one of, you can kind of tell it's one of those situations where you get to sort of what you would consider the halfway point of your story, and then you go, "Oh, cool! I've got one day. <laughs> I've got like one day left to finish this." Um, so I get that. I would say, you know, obviously, um. The I I like the mundanity of the I'm just a teenage girl trying to fit in, uh, and so if if this was gonna go onwards and be, you know, a more full kind of game experience, to me what it what it needs is just then that slow transition, like just when I'm starting to get comfortable with the situation of being this Brazilian teenager uh, and trying to fit in, all of a sudden things start getting uh, beyond my ability to deal with a in a supernatural sense. And so, um, you know, stealing from the altar. Like, I feel like that could have been a cool point in the game where you do that and then all of a sudden you start feeling like you know maybe even have like patricia before she leaves to hang out with them or whatever doesn't really believe in this stuff thinks it's kind of dumb but well not that not that she thinks it's dumb doesn't believe in it um but just sort of latches on to it as a rebellious thing like oh, i'm tired of growing up in this you know sort of traditional catholic small town and so I've latched on to this witchcraft thing. I don't really necessarily believe in it, but it's, you know, it's something to kind of make me feel distant from my parents. And that's the most important thing to me right now as a teenager is to, you know, be sort of the opposite of what my parents are um, or, you know, whatever. But I'm just saying uh, it's like to then her go, OK, well, I just need this booze. And then she steals it. And then as you're walking through the woods, you start feeling pursued by an entity. And you're like, oh, they're playing a trick on her. And maybe they are. But then maybe the trick on her is also mixed with, you know, the mischief of a, of a, of a deity, of a creature, of a pagan deity or whatever. Exu, you know. Um, so... It's there's a lot of potential here to tell a, a cool story and this just kind of feels like a prologue with an ending slapped on it right now. And that's sort of obviously due to the constraints of the jam. Uh I mean, obviously. So, I don't know. I'd be cool it'd be cool to see this develop into more of a more of a story. Um I feel like with the style, the visual style, you know, we have, this is a great example to break it down. I like the sort of digitized pictures and I like the character art, but the backgrounds I feel like need to have a more consistent art style. Cause we have this like paint, paint like texture mixed with like a pixel art texture mixed with like a, uh, stock photo photoshopped out mixed with pixel art characters and it just kind of feels like all the backgrounds either need to be pixel consistently or they need to be paint consistently and I think it's okay if if it's all painted like this 
digitize real pictures with the pixel art as long as like that's consistent across the board um the control scheme's fine i think it's a little weird having q and q to look at things w to leave places and e to advance text i feel like it could all just be e or it could just be e and w if you're moving upwards i feel like you don't need q in there um but if it if it happens more and then finally you know the i'm the worst person to to make this criticism but maybe just some kind of like game gameplay mechanic of either collecting items to advance further like in order to get past a gate in the woods you need something or you know whatever wire clippers or whatever to get through a fence or something like that just so that there's some progression to what you do obviously this game was too short to see anything like that yet i don't know or or like choices to make as a character that sort of change the way the game plays um that's about it i i like i said it feels like a, a prologue to a cool story that i'm excited about with a sort of slapped on ending in order to make it a complete experience before the jam is over so uh, I'm, that's what I feel like happened. That's my theory. So I'd be interested in seeing it is as a more complete experience. I'd be interested in seeing where it goes as a story. And, um, you know, it would even be cool as like a weird interactive fiction kind of thing with these digitized backgrounds. If the, uh, art creating process was too much, um, I feel like it could work as like an interactive fiction and just you know have these different backgrounds and be exploring and then throw in a couple elements to make it more dynamic here and there i don't know it's just pretty cool i like it I, I i'd like to see more games like this kind of thing and i'd like to see more brazilian horror for sure because i was like definitely getting into this weird neo-pagan thing this weird witchcraft thing i want to i want to know about brazilian witchcraft google <laughs> Okay, Google, search Brazilian witchcraft. <laughs> anyway, um, hope that was helpful. Uh, overall, I liked it. Uh, it just needed just needed more time, really. <laughs> like, no other way to get around it. G Corn just needed more time to work on this. Um, so, anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, I probably played for. Oh yeah, 20 minutes. Okay. Uh, anyway, so I hope you guys are having a great night. I'm having a great night. I'm super tired. <laughs> um, so I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. And uh, link will be in the description so you can check out this game for yourself. Anyway, have a good night, everyone.